Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, that whole thing where I announce what razor, brush, and soap I'm going to do at the beginning of the video, um, just wasn't working for me. So I'm going back to my old tried and true method. Anyways, so let's take a look at what we're using. The razor today is one that came in the last package I got from Dennis a couple of months ago. And it is this. Gold dollar. Wooden scales has this here. Not sure what number it is. If it's the gold dollar 66, 200, whatever. Got this real long tail that comes curves out and comes to a nice point. And the blade. Because of the way the blade looks, I've nicknamed this one Assassin. Because you can see it's got this exaggerated tip that comes down. It is, I believe, a 6 8 Guy thinks it's probably a 6 8 Guy honed it up. And, um... It's pretty hollow. I don't know. It might be... Three quarters, full hollow, closer to full hollow, I think, maybe. I don't know. I can't pick up a razor and say, that's a quarter hollow, that's a half hollow, so on and so forth. The brush, I also got from Dennis in that last pack, package. Got it here soaking in my skull goblet. And it is this one. It's not marked with anything. Real nice looking brush kind of a barber style handle doesn't say who it's made by but this is a great brush I've used it a couple of times feels really really good on the face and the soap it was not marked it's in this tin got a beautiful citrusy scent and it gives you exactly what the name that's on it. It's got this little sticker that says tangerine. Really great smelling So It's pretty freaking hard. I think it's probably triple milled because it is, it's, it's hard. But it just has a wonderful, wonderful scent. So let's go ahead. And I will be topping it all off with a, um, Maggots orange menthol aftershave. Let's go ahead and load the brush. So, how have y'all been doing? Got a couple of new subscribers to mention that I'd like to officially welcome to the channel. And they are, oops, one moment. Let me get my little bowl I use here for dipping my brush. There we go. And those subscribers are Bob Gonzo Randolph himself. Welcome, Gonzo. And the other subscriber is Paul London Newman. Or maybe, no, Carl, excuse me. Carl London Newman, or it could be Carl Newman London. I think it's London Newman. I can't remember. Um... Those are his, that is his name. I just can't remember how the middle and the last come in. in. But welcome, Carl. I hope you guys really enjoy your time here on the channel. And I wouldn't be, I, pre -think, I think that Carl is from the UK. Um, that, or he just likes using the word mate. So, that's a pretty decent load right there. Let me go ahead and throw some water up on my face. Instead of using the PAA cube. For the pre-shave, we'll go with this. Excess soap off the puck. Yeah. 
yesterday. My son got his cast off, got the pin pulled, the temporary pin pulled. He's happy as a pig while earning in his own feces, we'll say. Um, Cause he finally has use of that arm back. And me, Friday, I'm going in to get my teeth removed. The seven, that was an issue. And right now my son's trying to convince my girlfriend to let him have his prize we got him for a gift recently. Which just happens to be a Nintendo Switch. My brother was selling it at a really good price. We ended up getting it. Comes with the carrying case. A uh, couple of games. So. We're going to use it as blackmail material, basically. Be a good kid, do your chores. You can earn time. That's good. One moment, guys. Okay, dry the hands. Tried making a video the other day. Unfortunately, what do you call it? Issues between my phone and my computer again. So, wasn't able to transfer it and I used this gold dollar the other day so gave a great shave there we go I dropped it on my razor and horse hide yeah nice you might hear a little crying in the background. My son didn't get his way, so. That's a little spot I missed there. there I think I'm getting this straight razor stuff down fellas yeah. 
There we go. Under the nose. So the other day, been a bit since all of my razors, my straight razors, um, my fault, my fault, we have pretty low humidity here this time of year, so I was like, oh, they'll be okay if I miss an oiling or two. There was a little bit of water. That after I, you know, that got on the thing that I normally set my straight razors to dry on. And now on the side with all the really fancy engraving. There is a great big tea stain. So, very nice. There is a tea stain, so I went ahead and took my razor emporium polishing cloth, rubbed off most of it. So, yeah, next time I send it to Guy to get home, I'm going to have to have him polish the face of the blade. One moment so I can rinse off. So, yeah, I got that tea stain on it. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I'm not happy at all. But if you're getting into this and just straight razor shaving, always, always oil that blade before you store it away. I just use mineral oil and rub down the scales and keep the organic material of the scales in nice shape. All the skills, all the tang, all the tail, all the play. <laughs> yeah. And then put it away. Or else. You're going to be like me and go, oh, oh, that sucks. There we go. Hmm. I'm going to set my brush down on top of my soap puck. against the grain pass, or not against the grain, with the grain, across the grain, pardon me guys. Yeah. 
Very nice. Very good, very good. Really, really loving this razor. Thank you so much, Dennis, for this gold dollar. Um, really, really digging the shave. Even Guy was really, really, really liked the geometry of the razor. The interesting thing about it is if you look up here on the tang, it comes up and it boom, has a little notch for your finger. Nice. The um, cross the green pass is the one that gets me the most. But yeah, I wish I, you know, if you can remember where you got this soap, Dennis, it's an outstanding soap. So, slickness, all that good stuff. Everything you want in this soap. When across the green ain't that great yet. I do much better against and with the grain, but it is a learning process. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna cheat here for the across the grain. I've got an Astra SP loaded in my brass card.
as you can hear, everybody's doing their spring yard cleaning. All right, let me rinse off and we'll come back for the third. Go. All righty. Yeah, if you've been with my channel for a while, you might remember my So You Want to Be a Wet Shiver video. And those I really didn't have any direction on what to go with them. Just talked about a couple of different things, but here's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to, you know, make that series of videos for, you know, people that's just getting into the hobby and you know um, just questions they might have there we go open comb versus solid guard solid bar um, thinking about the first series I do in that videos is dealing with vintages Such as if somebody yeah. you know wants to get into vintages and you know what to look for, what to expect, do a series on vintage injectors, I did a video on injectors, gym, or gym styles. Nice, very, very close. Yeah. There we go. And then of course double edge. So Hmm, let me reapply some lather here need to load up off the puck real quick because yeah One yeah guy was telling me he was watching a video by knife to the face um if anybody's got a link to his channel man go ahead and put it down in the comments because i've been wanting to check out his videos for a while but he was using gold dollar like mine the one i'm using here and um basically told guy to want that point because uh, the guy that did knife to the face I guess he was going along and the point cut him and went 
the entire point disappeared under the skin or a portion of it. And I guess from what I said, he was, he was hooting. He was a hooting and a hollering pretty good. So I'm all like, yeah, go ahead and, and, and you know, neuter that tip, blunt it. So he rounded it off pretty good. I ain't been nicked or diced or sliced by it, so. All right, here we go. And I will be doing touch-ups with, uh, with the carb. Probably most of the touch-ups with the carb. I'm getting there, but I ain't quite uber proficient. with that yeah I think I'm gonna pick myself up a little hair dryer that way so when I get done with my straight razors I can just sit there and air dry them especially around those pivot pins in the inside of the scales oh put a little bit of soap right there I missed a whole patch Perfect. Buffing. And that is that. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead, rinse off real good, and do the alum. All right, guys. Rinsed off. Magazine block. 
Not bad. A little bit there. A little bit on the upper lip. Not good. A little on the chin. There we go. Anyways, um, I'll be back for the post. Hey guys. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's get this post done. Went ahead and shaved my head using the leaf with two half Tatra blades. On, I believe their last shave. <laughs> I really like those Tatra blades. They are sweet, sweet blades. T. Dickinson Witch Hazel. A little more for the face. Oh, yeah. If it ain't witch magic, because it ain't fairs, <laughs> but it is some pretty amazing stuff. Oh, where to put my bomb? My bomb, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. Which I had here a minute ago. Here it is. Dove. Aftershave bomb. Yeah, it's the dove. more that feels nice yeah I went ahead and I got kind of researching that black free door with that ace symbol or that spade symbol and it turns out what that is, is that as an 8 8 or 16 16, no matter how you want to put it, full hollow, free door, or a free door, but made by um, Frank Herbert, not Herbert, Herder and Sons. 76 ace of spades and um which is really cool because i was very interested in one couldn't see it so i had no idea but then eric of adventures in wet shaving was using one i was like hey does that have a set of crossed keys on the back yeah sure are all ace of spades 76 is full hollow in 1616, yeah, okay. So, at least that's the info I got right now. And the razor is between, was made between 1900 and 1927. So that means it's anywhere from 93 to 127 years old. Or no, excuse me. Yeah, 127 years old. Probably 1927 to 2007. Yeah, 100. Whatever. <laughs> I gotta do the math later. My head, my head ain't quite straight right now. Um, didn't get enough coffee today. Anyways, yeah, 2000 to 21. No, 100 and and 21 years old so 120 years 121 years to 93 so that's a pretty cool find that's a pretty cool find i'm so glad i got it all right put my shave towel away anyways so that's the shave guys thank you for joining me y'all have a wonderful day hope you get in some great shaves if it's getting warm where you live, don't worry. We only got four, three, four months or so of this crap. 
Um, it's starting to get warm here. So as you can see, tank top today. But anyways, uh, y'all take it easy and I shall see all of you oh, real quick. Likes, comments, subscriptions. Always appreciate it. If you do subscribe, go ahead. You know what to do. Uh, contact uh, G my email address is in my about section. And I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.